whacking lie. Royal fans load Sussexes with insults as they denied the mistake at Oprah. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle called out for staying mum on royal family following scathing tell all to Oprah. This claim has been made by US Weekly's royal correspondent Christina Garibaldi in a chat with co host Christine Ross. Ms. Garibaldi began the chat by saying, It's hard to believe that it's been one year since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell all interview. How crazy is that? Later, Ms. Ross added, Time is just flying by, and yet it also feels like that was a hundred years ago. I think I've said before it was so long ago, but the last year has just flown by. Not only that, we're still feeling the repercussions from that today, a year later. They still haven't fleshed out all the issues and accusations and all the claims that were made. It's amazing how much this interview has really shaken things up. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry haven't fleshed out the claims and accusations they made in their Tell All Oprah interview a year on, a royal commentator have claimed. The Sussexes sat down with the US TV legend on March 7, 2020, for a two-hour-long interview where they made explosive claims against the royal family, leaving the firm in crisis. And one royal commentator claimed that the couple have still not fleshed out all the issues and accusations that they made one year on. US Weekly's royal correspondent Christina Garibaldi discussed the dramatic interview with co-host Christine Ross. Speaking on Royally Us, Ms. Garibaldi said, It's hard to believe that it's been one year since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell-all interview. How crazy is that? Ms. Ross added, Time is just flying by and yet it also feels like that was a hundred years ago. I think I've said before it was so long ago but the last year has just flown by. Ms. Garibaldi continued, that was when they opened up this can of worms about the royal family. Ms. Ross claimed, we're still feeling the repercussions from that today, a year later. They still haven't fleshed out all the issues and accusations and all the claims that were made. It's amazing how much this interview has really shaken things up. Ms. Garibaldi noted, get ready for the book because that's coming around the corner. In the two-hour special, Meghan claimed her mental health concerns were ignored by the royal family, going on to say an unnamed royal expressed concerns about what her son Archie's skin tone would be. She that Kate Middleton made her cry before her wedding to Harry in a row over bridesmaid dresses. Buckingham Palace said in a statement they were saddened by the allegations and would address the issues privately as a family. Prince William's frosty relationship with his brother Prince Harry has not recovered since his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, a royal expert has claimed. In the explosive chat over a year ago, Harry and wife Meghan Markle shared their experiences as working members of the royal family and explained why they stepped back to carve out a new life in America. They alleged there had been conversations about how dark son Archie's skin would be and Meghan revealed she had suicidal thoughts during her time in the firm and claimed she was denied help for her mental health. When it came to his brother, Harry claimed William was trapped within the monarchy and added, My brother can't leave that system, but I have. And according to royal expert Camilla Tomney, a year on from the interview William and Harry have not made any progress in ironing out their feud. Writing in the Telegraph, she said, while Prince Charles is thought to be in regular contact with his youngest son, Harry's relationship with William has still not recovered from Oprah, after he suggested both his father and his brother felt trapped in the royal family. As one source put it, as the Queen has always said, they remain much-loved members of the family but it's not been easy. It's hard enough for any family to get along but when such intimate details are made public on prime-time TV, it's difficult to put that genie back in the bottle.